Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have a reading for you guys and uh, mm -hmm, I'm trying to put this camera for you guys. Hope you guys are well. And Capricorn, it's a love reading for sure it is, all right? Because we have the Knight of Cups to begin the reading and we call him the Knight of Vessels. Yeah, he has a bunch of vessels, Capricorn. He does and uh, you know, and so this is the eel. This talks about somebody who knows somebody, uh, somebody else is their destiny. Yeah, they know for sure. They know, especially next to the angel where well, this is like wisdom learned, right? Um, and this can be like accepting the truth. There's a rainbow behind her and she's pouring water here. The water's going to the river <clears throat> and she seems at peace and you know, the flowers are around her head. And so somebody here knows you are destiny. It's interesting because this can talk about, uh, somebody has cheated as well. It doesn't have to be, but, uh, I feel like somebody might've cheated here and I'm not sure if they're, uh, who they're cheating on. It could be another person in this reading totally, but it could be kind of themselves. Somebody's resisting. Uh, you can cheat on yourself, right? If you have an opportunity in front of you and you know, it's for your better good, your greater good, and you don't take it. And I call that cheating on yourself or cheating yourself. Same, same difference, right? Uh, and somebody's resisting this change and who they believe is their destiny. Somebody needs an ending or huge or huge profound change in their life and they're resisting it. And we know this because here is transformation reversed with Persephone and Pluto. And then we have transformation in the upright. And so that's what this is about here. Uh, and they know they need the change. Yeah, they know. So, you know, it's not like, uh, they have, they understand this Capricorn. And here is the golden girl and she has her boobs sticking out, right? She does. She's sitting by this kind of little kind of, I don't know, foot bath or whatever they call this right back in the day. And, uh, you know, she's sitting there, she has jewels and all this fruit here and, uh, just, you know, wine and all this beautiful kind of uh, stuff here. And, but she still kind of has low self-worth. That's kind of really what that is. So somebody might have a ton of money. Yeah. She has her jewelry box at the, at this, you know, outside at the foot bath kind of, right. It's kind of looks like kind of a jacuzzi and her one foot in and one foot out. But, uh, this is somebody who's resisting something because they, they don't have high self esteem. No, they don't Capricorn. Tell them to come over and visit power and light. I'll fix them up. Right. We're not going to do a lobotomy. I promise Capricorn. All right. <laughs> uh, but you know, here's transformation. Let's see what they say here in this deck, uh, with the Chinese cards. Yes, they are. And let's see what it says here. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, it's kind of the song reminds me of uh, autumn leaves. I was listening to that. If you guys know that song, it's super, super old. When I first kind of heard it a long time ago, I'm like, what? Cause my friend, you know, we used to sing together and he wanted me to sing that. Cause I don't, I go in the beginning, I go, uh, I'm too young for that song. <laughs> and it's funny cause, uh, not really, but, uh, autumn leaves, you know, he's talking about the autumn leaves drift by my window window and he's not with her. And then he goes, you know, and he says, uh, but I missed you. I miss you most of all. Right. My darling. Um, he says, when autumn leaves drift by my window. Yeah. So let's look at transformation, reinventing yourself. Yeah. Somebody needs to reinvent themselves. They do. They need a rubber hammer, Capricorn. You need this little mallet. Bing, wake up, right? Renewal, brand new lease on life. Yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. this card indicates you will reach your personal goals or plans by taking up a course of study or learning new skills. This is learning, like learning, it is new skills, but it's like emotional intelligence, that type of skill it is. And so, uh, I don't think this is about career. So let's go to relationships. The new you will certainly have a new attitude and a new aura of positive positivity, which could thrill some of your friends. So with transformation reversed here, this person's resisting this transformation, although they know it is so good for them. Yeah. Because this person knows Capricorn, then this will bring them a new attitude. I got a new attitude, right? And a new aura of positivity. Others may be a bit jealous or afraid of losing you. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe your person has somebody who is afraid 
that they will lose them. Uh, and there could be jealousy here. There's definitely some low self-esteem. I don't think it's you, Capricorn. Don't get mad. I don't think it's you, right? No, I feel like this is this person here who is kind of swimming down as the eel. But just, you know, they're not really going with the flow. But this is the Knight of Cups. This is about destiny and somebody who loves somebody. And uh, let's have a look at that Knight of Cups. Yeah, did I read it? I don't think I did. No, I just... Let's see what it says here, or did I like talk about it? I just said, uh, this is with purity of intent, your destiny defined, you're able to bring wisdom and maturity to your tasks. Well, it's next to the, the angel, which talks about wisdom. This person has the utter, they have the uh, utmost wisdom here, Capricorn, but their self-esteem is blocking them. It's showing up with the golden girl what they call her not sure i think they call her that because she's got like gold and you know like money kind of she's like a socialite type right uh, she gets to sit by the pool kind of all day long right why, why we have to work right but uh yeah definitely and here's the resistance right next to the low self-esteem card transformation in the reverse all right uh mm -hmm. and this is pluto and persephone uh and we know pursuito is uh the pursuito pluto <laughs> is the god of death and transformation or death and regeneration and then we have children so you know maybe this is a new family this can talk about welcoming somebody into your family this person thinks you're family capricorn so this is why or feels like you are right yeah they feel like your family and maybe they're just you know you guys have fun together like little kids this is the sister and the brother i believe and uh maybe it's another girl who knows that real short hair yeah little little buns up here uh, right but they're having fun oh yeah they definitely and you know they're playful and things like that we have the magician in the mirror the storm warning and we also have rest and rejuvenation so somebody here uh needs somebody's kind of tired here uh, but is, you know, this is going to be your person's extended the start of it right of course it always is let's get into the reading here uh, mm -hmm. let's see what we have for Capricorn and their person. And these have been shuffled. You guys, the bottom of the deck is the seven of wands. This is resisting right here. Somebody's resisting a transformation in their life because, uh, they have low self-esteem or, you know, they don't feel so good about themselves. And it's also possible that, uh, somebody would be jealous and they are not wanting that to happen. Yep. So let's see what we have and let's see what else. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck now, Ace of Wands reversed. Yeah, you can't have a new beginning in love unless there's some type of ending here. The Ace of Wands reversed could be an ending. It could be a transformational ending. Like I need to change the way uh, I need to change my life, right? It could be a, a real ending, right? Hey, uh, I'm leaving or whatever, but regard even if it's not an ending and there's not another person involved just you and your person capricorn they need to end the way they live they need to stop being in this low self-esteem kind of energy or you know low self-worth I, I sh they should uh they need to right yeah you're not supposed to say should because it's a it's a word that implies it you're not taking action right uh, you're not supposed to say that kind of to yourself right let's see you could say i could and let's see what we have here capricorn the knight of wands the, the page of cups and we have the six of wands mm -hmm. and in the overall energy is the chariot so let's look at your person's uh let's put, use a different deck for them for their they need a different deck capricorn because they're feeling kind of down here i feel like this person misses you and they want to dis a situation for a lot of you it is it's really kind of dis a situation right yeah mm -hmm. and so let's see what we have but they don't have they look like they don't have the courage here and maybe they are because this transformation card this could be also saying here with persephone and transformation reverse they're resisting but here they're going to take it it's possible here because it's just showing i always say that the order of the cards can be very indicative here right here they are accepting the truth and gaining the spiritual wisdom with the angel here they are feeling kind of down or low self-worth and here they are resisting with Pluto reverse but now we have transformation in children so 
they could be really uh, taking this transformation. We're going to find out in the other reading because we are, because we've already, uh, we've, we've talked a little bit about the cards over here. This is your person's overall energy in the other reading, magician in the mirror, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe your person's worried about getting the old Capricorn because this magician, he looks like, uh, what do they call that? Father, father, somebody, father time. <laughs> okay. You guys remember all that? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what we have for Capricorn's person. Grandfather time, father time, something like that. And they have the king of swords. They're grabbing the sword, Capricorn. We know what it is. Knight of wands reverse talks about a rupture. It does in this deck, a, a, a separation, right? Mm -hmm. And they have the Ace of Swords, their perspective is that they're going to take this sword and do this and take this action because this Knight of Wands is a rupture. It's an ending. It's a, it's a breakup with somebody. And here is the Ace of Swords. Uh, I know I'm down to the heart of the matter. Like I get it right. Like, uh, this is like using your best, your best judgment, the heart of the matter. Like I've gotten to the heart of the matter, right? Maybe they were chiseling away at this stone Capricorn for for months or maybe even years, right? Because he has the sword in there. Yeah, and it looks chipped, the sword. So your person was probably doing this for a long time. <laughs> it's not good. No, it's not. But that doesn't matter if they're doing it now, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter. The past doesn't matter. It, it You know, the past is over and it's over and done with. And so you can't change it. So focus on the future. No, you can't. So anybody who can't let go of something in their past uh, is really just doing an injustice to themselves because you can't move forward without it, right? With, without leaving it behind. And let's see. Uh, mm -hmm. Capricorn, you have the wheel, the Knight of Cups again. And you have the Three of Cups. OMG. And in the past, Capricorn, we're going to look at the past first. Because we're going to leave it there. We are. We're going to look at it and leave it behind. Yeah, we're following Louise Hay, right? We are. And uh, mm -hmm. So let's, let's look here. Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. And uh, this is in the past. Somebody was insecure and uncertain. Well, that makes a lot of sense with the Golden Girl here. Yeah. They need to stop calling her the Golden Girl and called her call her uh, the Weenie Girl or, you know, for Cross Watchers, gee, they could be ready to get me Capricorn for the cross watcher, but you know, or your person, but somebody here, this is, this talks about the same energy as a golden girl, like, you know, uh, insecure and uncertain because this person was already embattled and, or, and, and bad, yeah, embattled or battered, or it doesn't have to be physical battering. But when we see low self-worth and somebody who has resisted this here, I feel like it's in the past now. And it's really uh, interesting how, you know, I haven't mentioned this as of lately, but these cards over here, this is like past and to, few, to the future, right? It just comes out like that the way I lay the cards down, right? I don't, when I do the Oracle, I don't say this is the placement. No, because there is none, but, uh, but there is a, a loose kind of structure here that, you know, the past usually ends up over here, usually. So, right. And then we have their, their energy over here with these cards here and those are going to be for their extended yeah and uh mm -hmm. so capricorn in the past the wounded warrior yeah he has a bandage on his head he does and uh don't don't hit your partner capricorn all right i i won't i won't tolerate that all right <laughs> and we have the seven of cups and the five of cups and so this person was insecure, I believe. This could be your energy, like uncertain if they would ever do it. But they look like they were uncertain here about making this choice to transform their life because it's going to include some type of sad ending for somebody. Five of Cups. I feel like it is. Your person could have been maybe like insecure about making this decision because they thought, well, I might regret it. But whatever they're doing right now, Capricorn, is already very highly regretful. I feel like it is. And they're not talking too much about it, but uh, they did actually, right? Uh, they did, I believe, with the transformation card. And uh, friends know that, you know, that like you know and your friends know that kind of if you take this transformation, that if you kind of agree to it by the universe or, you know, with the universe, right? Because this is what the universe wants, right? If you take it, this person knows that their life is going to be so much better. Yeah, better, 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 right? 
So here, Capricorn, the heart of the matter is the chariot. Let's go. Let's get in the chariot. And uh, even if it's, you know, uh, on your, uh, what do they call those things? Your go-kart. Yeah. Or even if it's just a piece of wood, Capricorn, sliding down the hill in San Francisco with soap on, on the back of it. <laughs> That's what we used to do, right? It's really fun. We lived on a really steep hill, right? And then on the mountain with my cousins, because uh, they lived in the suburbs, uh, we'd go down the hill with uh, cardboard. Yeah, we did. But um, I feel like the other one was more fun. But anyway, uh, here, Capricorn, the overall energy here is to get going, is to get in the chariot and do it. Let's do this, babe, right? And, uh, and overcome past fears and these opposing forces with the sphinxes. Just overcome. Just get in your car and go, right? And here, Capricorn... Your, your current situation here is the Knight of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Six of Wands. I feel like you just want this victory over here. And because this looks like maybe you're overcoming this, like you thought it wasn't going to happen. But I feel like there's a card missing. Capricorn, let's see for Capricorn. Ten of Pentacles. Fool card. No, I feel like what's going on here is that you, here's the nine of wands. In the past, you were kind of uncertain if they would do this, if they would take the chance, if they would have the courage, Capricorn, right? The nine of wands in the upright can talk about somebody taking action, <coughs> although with courage, right? I mean, most, most people take action because they have a little bit, but the fool is here, talks about courage. Uh, I feel like you were uncertain if this person was going to do this. And if they were going to overcome their own insecurity or fears, right? That's all fears are. Or in, it's just an insecure. It's, uh, it's, you know, it's kind of a specialized insecurity. Right? Something you're afraid of that causes you to be... Well, you're insecure to start. That's why you have the fears. But then you have the fear and you get more insecure, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a catch-22. It is, Capricorn. Mm -hmm. and this ten of pentacles here this is the union you want with them this six of wands is the victory you want with them but i feel like it's more like overcoming in this reading with the six of wands mm -hmm. here they are capricorn making uh taking their sword here right they said give me that sword i want to go be with capricorn right mm -hmm. sire oh i mean he's he's, the, he's handing it to the king right here it is sire right Maybe your person's a, a kingly person, Capricorn, right? A royal person. <laughs> uh, these, yeah, okay. And the Knight of Wands reverse, Capricorn. As I said, it's a rupture. The Ace of Swords. This person's going to do this. And in the future, it, I believe they are. But these cards over here are talking about their plight. I feel like it is. The Storm Warning and the Magician in the Mirror. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they might think they're going to get too old, Capricorn, because... I feel like there's another magician in this deck. And uh, this one is like old man time. Yeah, this one's like, uh, he is. He's about 85 here. And so, you know, maybe somebody really is. That's fine. Uh, never too late for anything in this life. No, not if you are of the right mindset, right? So here we are in the future. Wheel of Fortune, Knight of Cups, Three of Cups. You're, this is good luck for you and divine timing. So this is going to happen in divine timing with the Wheel of Fortune. Maybe somebody Sagittarius, but this is divine timing. There's a lot of wisdom here because there's three animals and they're all reading Capricorn, right? Yeah, I mean, when you see the animals reading, we know there's wisdom. And then here's the angel. And the angel is telling them, you know, you better do, do good with your wisdom. Like, don't, don't waste it right? It's kind of, yeah, don't waste your wisdom. Kind of, yeah, like, mm -hmm. in other words, this person knows that, like, they're wise to what they want with you, and all this stuff, and they know they'd be wasting it if they didn't do it, right? And then I have to go over and kind of wrestle them, Capricorn, right, for you guys. I don't want to, Capricorn, I don't want to fight, right? My lip liner gets messed up, right? So let's see what we got, Capricorn. Three of Cups, you're going to reunite with them. And here they are with the offer. I'm pretty sure here, uh, because down, I feel like down here you were concerned if they were ever going to do it. But all these cards are really great cards. It just shows up in the past that you or them, well, for them for sure. But both of you were insecure. They were insecure about letting something go or a profound change that they had to partake in right 
but you were afraid because you didn't think they were going to do it, right? So we bandaged them up, Capricorn, and, you know, they're doing good here, all right? Yeah, we're going to end the reading and go to the extended. And their overall energy in the extended, uh, with the oracles, we're also going to have a tarot spread on them, of course. But the overall energy over there is going to be the magician and the mirror. This is a very cool card. It is. Uh, mm-hmm. And, uh, mm -hmm. and then the storm warning is their challenge. OMG. And rest and rejuvenation. So we're going to see how they feel, Capricorn. Uh, we're going to see how they're looking at the whole situation now that they are looking. Uh, I feel like your person is taking a good look at themselves. And that's what the Golden Girl's doing here. She's taking a good look at herself. Like, I have all this money in abundance, but I'm not happy. Pretty sure here, Capricorn. All right. Uh, and so I need to change. And I feel like this is how they feel. And also what's unknown about them. We're going to look at their environment. Of course, how they feel about you, right? And their true intentions. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. God bless you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.